In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a method of farming Hell or Akel in the Disgaea 6 demo. This is intended for the demo version where you're limited to the first couple of episodes. You can assume that better methods will be available in the full version. This is also aimed at people who want to get as overpowered as possible in the demo. If you just want to get through the demo really quickly, this won't help you. In fact, you already need to be quite strong to make this method work. Now, this isn't my method, uh, this is this is the result of several people's efforts, including Alpha Lampo. Now, once the method fully gets going, it looks something like this. Damage Convert is maxed out, Mert 6 is 6 million int, this brings out SP so can't attack me, and though you can't see because the hell's cut off, on about 17 billion hell, let's run this a little longer and see how much we can get. So in about 10 seconds we got about 2 billion hell, so we get like 12 billion hell a minute roughly. Let's just end this map. Okay, to explain what you saw... The damage reward ability gives you hell based on the damage you deal. So you want to deal as much damage as possible. Handicap leaves enemies with 1 HP instead of killing them, so we can keep hitting the same enemies over and over again to keep getting hell with damage reward. We get our SP back with magic collection. Damage convert buffs our int when we get hit so we can deal even more damage. Wild scarcity increases our attack power. Pretty poke makes us deal more damage to prinnies. And Meteor Blessing makes us deal more star element damage. And this works with Elemental Burst, which is a unique star, star elemental skill of the Wick class. This is an incredibly powerful skill, but costs all our SP to cast. However, even if we increase it to plus 9999, it still only costs all our SP. Whereas anything else, if we increase it this much, we couldn't hope to cast it in the demo. Though this ends up being overwhelmingly powerful, so it deals a whole load of damage. And so we get a whole load of hell with damage reward. You get damage reward randomly by super reincarnating. Same for minor scarcity. Also same for handicap, though you can you can instead get it from the special skill gimmick quest, which requires having seen 50% uh, 50, 50 of the skills. Magic collection and damage converts are from getting three or four stars in the witch subclass. Prinny Poker requires that you can obtain Super Overlord abilities, and this is from a demerit um, for weekly level 9999. Meteor Blessing requires that you can obtain Demon Lord uh, class abilities, which requires the level 1000 demerit. Our other units had Hold the Lion, which is from 3 stars in Armor Knight. When the unit defends, the two panels to the left and the right of the unit are essentially no entry to enemies. They can't enter the panels, move through them, or be knocked into them. So we can use this to keep the enemies pinned in place so we can keep hitting them. We also have handicaps so we don't accidentally kill them with a counter. Equipment wise, these just have slippers so they can move further. The mage has a staff which brings a week to. Cerberus Suit for increased critical and movement, Sword Saint's Sheath for increased critical, and Rabbit's for increased, for increased critical and movement. Cerberus Suit is in a treasure chest hidden in the base. Sword Saint's Sheath and Rabbit's Foot are from the Fight Me My Rival and Thanks to You quests, which require 100 Sword Mastery and 100 Bow Mastery. Uh, Demonic Intelligence is really basic. It, we just cast Elemental Burst. Because we're manually positioning, we don't need the d intelligence to tell us where to position. Uh, likewise, this is just set to defend. So having really simple Demonic Intelligence means that the game doesn't have to do a lot of processing. Now, we want this on zero star enemy strength so the enemies are as weak as possible. 
I'll we'll explain why in a minute. So to show how you actually do the setup, we want one four. You need to have already cleared this once because the maps change after you clear them once. What I'm going to do here might not be the ideal way of doing it, but at least get them with the positions I need. Because the Queen is a low level, I'll have low SP, so when I'll, they'll run out quickly. Also, they only have Pretty Barrage, which isn't that much of a threat to us, compared to, say, Pretty Dance, which inflicts status effects that we don't want to have to deal with. So I just move forward in a line, they'll back off, and that one pretty off to the side I'll deal with later. Line from this blocks off these panels, hold line from this blocks off these panels, hold line from this blocks off these panels. So these prunies are trapped, they can't move. Now I need to get rid of the prunie over here, so I'm just going to throw it. And then finally we move over here into position. Leaving this space open, and keep in mind this prunie will pretty brush you so it runs over SP. We can turn auto on, and we leave this warning until it runs over SP. I'm going to left that gap there, because uh, if there's a Prinny in that gap, uh, it can counter us, it can attack us, we can counter it, all that waste of time. It's much faster just to hit the four Prinnies than to hit five Prinnies but have all his extra attacks. So we won this until it runs over SP. Okay, this Prinny is now out of SP, so it can't attack us anymore, so we turn auto back on. We'll fire off an attack roughly every couple of seconds. Now, because of the initial preparation required and having to wait for Prinny to run out of SP, you don't do this method if you want a bit of quick hell. You do this method if you want to run it for a while. Anyway, I'm just going to win the battle now. I could just throw the Prinnies, but it's more fun to do this. Now another map people use is 1-1. One, one. This map has three warriors on it. Because they're not pretty, so you can throw them around to position them more easily. But you can pin them in roughly the same way and just hit them. They have a higher staff weakness than Prinnies, but there's only three of them, so you don't get quite as much hell over time. At my stats, I'd be getting about 10 billion hell a minute instead of 12 billion. But again, because you can throw them, it's easier to set up, so it's worth considering this method. Another map people use for hell farming is 2-3. Now, for the really basic version, you'd just deploy the witch, have them attack the, uh, have them attack this guy, and it would be really basic, really simple. The thing is, because you're only hitting the one enemy, um, I'd only gain about two and a half billion hell a minute at my stats instead of the twelve billion hell a minute I was gaining with the pretty method. You could throw him over here and hit two glue symbols plus that enemy. But uh, the glue symbols aren't weak to staff weapons, and they're not a generic class that you can gain extra damage against for one slot, like with Prinny Poker. Likewise, he's a non standard class, so you deal less damage than if you were doing the 1-3 version. So if you want something simple, you can just do the 1-3 version. If you want something better, do the 1-4 version. 
But I thought I should at least mention this map anyway, since people might have heard of this one. Now bear in mind, I've only got 33 million int here, or 66 million when damage convert is active. Now that is overkill for the demo, but you can get a lot stronger than that. I've seen people with hundreds of millions of int, and if you had more int you'd deal more damage and hence uh, get more pell with damage reward. Unfortunately damage reward seems to scale with the square root of your damage, so it wouldn't help as much as you might think, but if I had say Half, uh, half a billion int and then a billion with damage convert then with damage reward and fighting the pretties instead of getting about 12 billion a minute I'd get like 45 billion but anyway um, so I hope this video helps you uh, thank you for watching and have fun breaking the demo